Good evening from the Lehigh Arena, where it is game number two between the Wellington Dukes and the Whitby Fury. Lindsay Heron joined by Alex Mahar here tonight. We're looking at pretty well the biggest crowd we've seen for a playoff draw here in Wellington, and there is a lot at stake. On Thursday, Wellington opened up round two of their playoff quest on the road in Whitby, and Logan Bateman had the shutout. Four nothing night was the final total there. Andrew Rinaldi, though, two goals, of course, as expected, all playoff season long. He's been dynamite. Cucci, and that's absolutely just created so much depth for the Wellington Dukes. They're now able to get all four lines in and engage. They have two lines that can really score and open up games, and Andrew Rinaldi is a big factor in what the Wellington Dukes do offensively. <laughs> And starting in goal for the Whitby Fury tonight is Luke Pearson on the postseason. Luke is 4-3 with a 2.62 goals against average and a 9.15 save percentage in the seven games that he's played so far. He's been an absolute rock for the Whitby Fury all season long. And across the pond from him tonight is Logan Bateman. He's been a workhorse for the Wellington Dukes since being brought over mid-season. He's 5-1 this postseason with a 2.47 goals against and a 9-17 save percentage. It's sure to be a great goaltending battle. There's John Drews over there on the Wellington Dukes bench trying to get his troops rallied for this Game 2 playoff series. And Rob Pearson trying to look for answers up and down his bench, keeping that clipboard nice and close to him. As we look, Alex, at what brought us here this evening for game number two, Whitby finishing off in third, 69 points, 33 games, 18 losses. Wellington, though, close behind them at 64 points, 29 wins, and 19 losses. There's been a lot of penalties given out to both these teams through two series, but a nice move, and they score! Ben Addison, toe drag, and he scores a sweet goal to open it up here at the Duke Dome. And it's 1-0 Dukes. Ben Addison, that is his first goal of the playoffs after having six games. That's actually his first goal of the regular season as well. He didn't score a goal during the regular season, so one goal finally for Ben Addison. It took him the playoffs to get here. And as he takes the monkey off his back there, heading back to the bench, we'll get to take another look at it. Just an absolutely sweet toe drag, and he pops the bottle off there as Pearson Really didn't have a chance, just an absolutely great move there, Lindsay. Gallagher comes up with it, now Shane Bull back to the blue line again. Walking towards the middle is Bazana, back for Bull, his shot, and he breaks the stick, rebound, and it squeaks in and they're gonna count it. They score on the rebound as that puck was lost underneath Bateman, and there to capitalize is Smith, who gets the Whitby Fury on the board here with 29.2 seconds remaining in the first period. The power play goal. And now the Wellington Dukes are not too happy about that one as they felt there should have been a whistle, but the puck was seen all the way by referee Chris Galloway, and that one's going to count as just staying with it there is Smith, and he's able to poke it straight through. Up on the scoreboard here yet in Wellington. And now the official call on the ice is a goal. So that will tie up the hockey game. We'll take a look at the brackets here as we'll just take a look at what's going on at the moment. This is the only OJHL game tonight for the playoff series and we'll have to see what happens with Markham getting ready for Newmarket soon and Oakville getting ready for Buffalo. As we take a look at the rest of what's going on in the league, North York is 1-2-0 against St. Mike's and Wellington of course right now is sitting at 1-0 against Whitby. That North York and St. Mike's matchup is an interesting one because both teams statistically are gritty, similar to Whitby, so we'll have to see who ends up winning there. Penalized man back on the ice, so 18 seconds of power play time here for the Fury as they're in three on one. The centering pass and they score! Dakota Betts on a three on one is able to slide it past Logan Bateman to give the Whitby Fury a two to one lead, their second power play goal. Chance to look at the replay. So we take a look at the Second goal by the Whippy Fury, Dakota Betts there coming in once again on the corner and the same size is where they got. As a centering pass and they score again. It's Carson Gallagher on the doorstep, 3-1 Fury. Second goal of the playoff journey for Carson Gallagher there. One of the reasons and another reason why Rob Pearson relying on him second goal scoring in the regular season for the Whippy Furies. We take a look at what beat Logan Bateman there. Nice dump in behind, nice right off to the point. 
Woodhouse down low for Vitucci. Vitucci into the front of the net. The centering pass shot, and they just can't bury it. Still loose in front of the goal, and they score! And it's not in. Pardon me, that actually went up and caught a little bit of the crossbar as that look puck looked in for sure. And I don't know how that stayed out behind Luke Pearson. As now another shot from the blue line by Humberstone, and we're gonna have to get another look at that because Lindsay, that looked like it was for sure in the net off the stick of Ben Woodhouse. Yeah, we're f to the far left-hand side of the arena, and I certainly thought Brett Pemberstone had his first goal there of the OGHL playoffs. So if you take a look at what started this situation, as both teams make a full line change here as we get this thing rolling. Nice pressure in front of Luke Pearson, a bit of a tip, and did it hit the crossbar, Alex? I'm not quite sure. It seemed that the referee wasn't sure at first as well. And it still looks in to me as we take another look and it did catch a bit of the crossbar and it was actually the stick of a 3-1 win and they knot the series up at one apiece as the Wellington Dukes are not able to get the job done here on home ice. They fall to one and three, pardon me, one and two here at home in these playoffs. And the Whitby Fury pick up their second road win of the playoffs as well. And 